people will tell you like your business isn't going well or your business is going well like you need to grind 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 you need to go into monk mode that if you're not there mentally how the f are you gonna run a business if you if you don't wake up and you're not excited to tackle life and you're not excited about like living what's the purpose so was there like a point that you like were like hedging like should i stay in school should i take that leap <laughs> absolutely yeah absolutely like when i first started tabs like i was like kind of like recruiting for like a summer internship mm. and then i was like fuck that i'm not going to get a summer internship and i you know i lived i lived at home and i was working on tabs um you know and this was like when we were in production we had no sales and again there was a lot of waiting time and you know i had to face my parents wrath every single day what are you what are you doing you're wasting your time you know you need to you need to be in a corporate environment you need to be learning you need to be in an internship like you know disappointment you have disappointment so so i didn't drop out of school right um second semester sophomore year i went part-time student i took two classes uh, and that was that mm. then i didn't again i didn't drop out of school after that i decided to take a gap year I'm still on my gap year, right? By the way, right now. Oh yeah. I, I ain't going back for sure. No, I ain't going back. And by the way, I'm, I'm allowed to take up to 10, 10 gap years uh, of a leave of absence. I don't need to like drop out. I don't need to be like a radical dropout, right? I, I, I've created optionality for myself, and there's there's there, there is hedge right there, right? Which is like a you know a safety net. Like shit hits the fan. Worst case scenario, like I can always go back. And that's how I think other people need to think as well. Like school will always be there for you. But like I have lightning in a bottle right now. Like my company is growing by like double digit percentages no every single yeah. month. Now. I am making, you know, uh, millions of dollars. What gave you the uh, courage to but, take the gap year? Well, it was the idea that like, again, what is the worst that can happen? But here's the thing. So I took the gap year and I moved to Miami. I moved in, I moved from a frat house to, you know, this apartment that I couldn't really afford in Miami. Um, and the company was growing month after month after month. But I was, re I was reinvesting every single dollar back into the company to fuel the growth. And then July happened and shit hit the fan. Uh, we started getting banned on all our social media accounts. Revenue fell dramatically. My co-founder and partner who was supposed to be contributing, who was co completely MIA, told me, hey Oliver, I'm gonna go back to school despite my pledge to take a gap year with you to focus on scaling the business. And by the way, I'm gonna go start other businesses too, and I'm gonna do the bare minimum per our contract agreement, mm. and I think you should do the same. I go, oh, fuck, man. I can't afford the apartment that I'm living in. I can't afford food, really. Because you know, I'm like, again, like all my money's like tied up into like buying hundreds of thousands of boxes and chocolates like in order to sustain it. it like sales are falling. You know, I'm living in this, 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 this penthouse in Miami, but I can't even afford to furnish it. And I'm sitting there thinking, what the fuck did I do? I call up my, 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 my academic advisor. I say, I need, to go, I need to go back to school. She goes, Oliver, you can't go back to school. You didn't take an economics class, which is a prerequisite in order to assimilate and, you know, and to, 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 to enroll in Ross. You need to take that economics class and you can't, you can't jump back into Ross halfway through. You, it's not like a semester thing. Ross is like a very like, particular curriculum. You have to wait a year. So I was forced in to like this gap year and I ended up moving back home and I was incredibly depressed, man. You know, I gave up like, like my parents were paying for my education, quite frankly. They were paying for my school. They were paying for my room and board. I was going to be living in a crib again with like homies from school, um, you know, and, and, it, and, and life wasn't that bad, you know, at the end of the day, like, yeah. as much as I can shit talk it. That's the dangerous it, part though, yeah. As long, yeah, that is the dangerous part. But as long as I can shit talk it, right? Like my parents were paying for my food, my room, my board. I'm living with friends, their parties, their girls, you know, it's a vacation. Very easy to get comfortable. Very easy to get comfortable. And instead I'm in the last place I want to be, which is back home with my parents. And by the way, my parents at this point moved from New York to bumblefuck Tampa, like 40 <laughs> minutes outside of the middle of nowhere, right? And I'm completely isolated. I'm completely alone. The company's tanking. My co-founder is back at school, partying with his friends, mm -hmm. having the time of his life, starting other business ventures. And I'm sitting there with my dick in my hand. And I'm like, fuck, right? It, you know, I was... It was like probably like one of like the lowest points for me. And now granted, like, you know, at the end of the day, it's our perspective. Like I'm very lucky and fortunate that like I was able to move back in with my parents and the feeling you know, is shit. You don't, yeah, you don't have to sugarcoat it. Like the feeling, the feeling was shit. And, um, uh, man, like for a little, for a little bit, I gave up hope. I stopped working out and like got a little fat <laughs> like, and you know, I stopped seeing people like, um, it starts to affect your life. Like I wasn't like showering every day mm -hmm. and like I wasn't like as like, hygienic exactly as, like, as yep. like I should be. Like, you know what I mean? Like, 
I started to like, you know, have like more acne and break out because like it starts to like permeate into every aspect of Absolutely. your life. You know, I got invited to like with my family to like go to like this football game and see my cousins. Can't and, even have fun. And, and I was like, I'm not going. I can't see. My, I, I don't want to see them. Mm-hmm. I'm like this loser that like moved back in with my family and like you know I was I was the supposed social pressure. To, dude, I was supposed to be 2007 Facebook in my head. In my head, it was I'm dipping school and I'm about to, I'm about to fucking blow this shit up and be on a rocket ship. I was I'm, in my head, I'm fucking Mark Zuckerberg like Facebook 2007, 100%. right? Like, and this is a summer that's gonna change it all. And instead, I'm in the one place that is like, you know, the one place that I don't want to be, which is back home with my controlling helicopter parents that are, you know, in my fucking ear every day. Ah, you should have gotten a job. Ah, you should have been back in school, right? Like, terrible. But at the same time, it also forced me to put my back against the wall. Mm-hmm. And slowly, slowly, like, I started to build things back. And I started to build a team. And I started to, you know, bring on, like, some killers. We moved into quarter four, you know, Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, Christmas, holiday season, um, you know, soon after Valentine's Day, Q1, and things started to rebound and explode. And after July, we have been growing month after month after month, where we're now going to be pushing over million dollar months. Um, and, you know, I, I moved out, <laughs> thank the Lord. <laughs> right? like I moved out. Um, you know, I, I now live um, in, well, first of all, what I did was I traveled. I traveled for a month and a half uh, all over Europe. Um, and I got excited about life again, man. You know, I, was, I, 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 I went from a place of not- Was the business running still? Yes, like, the, 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 business, growing, the business was running. Or, were you just waiting? No, no, no the, the business was running, the business was growing, and like things were starting to fucking move. And I started to build a machine. I started to, to build teams and people. And like, it, stopped, it stopped being me, yeah. like carrying everything on my back. And I started to build a business. I started to work on the business instead of working in the business. Mm-hmm. Um, and I decided like, you know, I need to get excited about life again because, you know, here I was, I was living in my parents' house. I wouldn't leave it and I wasn't taking care of myself and I wasn't seeing people. I wasn't socializing. And I'm, I'm in this place for like fucking three months. I'm like I got to get out. So I booked a one way ticket and I, I backpacked and, 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 and traveled around Europe. And it was amazing. I fell in love with a girl in Italy. Like, you know, like I started like, dating this girl. I mean, dating. Strong word. Yeah, I started, I started seeing a girl in Milan and I started making friends in places and I started to get like high on life again. Mm-hmm. And you know, people will tell you like, yo, like your business isn't going well or your business is going well. Like you need to grind, 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 grind. And like you need to go, you know, you need to go into monk mode and fuck that. If you're not there mentally, how the fuck are you going to run a business? If you, if you don't wake up and you're not excited to tackle life and you're not excited about like living, What's gonna what's gonna motivate you to run an ecom brand, right? Like like like, what, like at the end of the day, like, like what is like what's like what's the purpose, right? Uh, and so I kind of like rediscovered like just you know my passion for life and for experience, and then I ended up like after you know my little episode of traveling and running the business, I uh, ended up kind of planting my flag down in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I moved into an apartment with two of my best friends. They're both ecom TikTok guys, <laughs> um, which is amazing to be around. Um, and you know here I am now, um, and the business went from. $60,000 a month in July, and now we're pushing over a million dollar a month. It's so impressive, bro. And you Thank earned you. every inch of it. You, you went through those hardships and that's what got you here. Right. And that barrier to entry of making a good product, taking a year is what's gonna set you apart and why other people don't do it. So Absolutely. you've made the right decisions and though it took longer, it's paying off clearly. So congrats to you, but Thank it's you. only the start for you. You're fucking 21, you're on a great trajectory and you're gonna see this thing through to great heights, I can imagine. 100%. But my friend, I think it's really important to focus on actually like the mental health side that you said like not mental health like that's a cliche no. but like if you're not happy like you're not going to make good decisions it's going to be destructive right so don't work yourself into the ground right. like how are you going to be motivated to run an e-com brand if you're not motivated to wake up in the morning exactly it's like people just need to think about it in sprints like there are two weeks sure, where i do sure, not sleep sure like, it sucks and then right. there's like two weeks where i can't do anything because i'm waiting on my shipment to come right. i'm waiting on things and so it's like all right i'm going to eat healthy go to the gym make sure i'm taking care of my right. body and then it's kind of just that's the balance and then you're on the roller coaster of entrepreneurship, 100%. highs and lows.